Charles here and today I am doing an unboxing video. Now inside this box that has arrived in the post today is a camera, a digital camera uh, made by a company called Amcov. It's a Chinese company and they've been around since 2013 I think and they've come into the camera market and they've decided to uh, produce cameras at the very budget end of the of the spectrum. They've not uh, competed with the likes of Nikon and Canon and Fujifilm. They've obviously seen that as a, an unattainable uh, market to get into. They've not even gone for the mid-range stuff. Uh, they've decided to produce super budget cameras and really carve a whole new market for very fe feature rich cameras, um, but at a very, very discounted price. And I've always been interested in, in their products, just because I don't know, I've got a bit of a, a curiosity about me. Uh, you can actually buy one of their SLR clones with um, like 24 megapixels and large screens and interchangeable lenses. Um, you can buy their cameras, you know, the whole kit for like £50, which is about $65 in, in, in US and probably about €60, Euros, something like that. So they're pretty cheap, you know, for some quite feature-rich cameras. And they've always raised my eyebrows in how good are they actually going to be. Um, but I've never really been curious enough to spend £50 on one just to find out. Uh, but one came up for sale here in the UK, where uh, where I am, and it was second-hand. Uh, it's only paid £20 for this. It's a complete kit. Apparently it's not been used much, so I thought for £20 I'd take a punt on it. Quite excited to see this. The seller said it had hardly been used, so hopefully it's still in good condition. Okay, that's definitely the box. Let's see if we can just uh, get it out of here. Very neat wrapping. Okay, so there's 24 megapixels, yep, it's got a 3 inch screen, super AMO LED and a 4 time digital zoom. Okay, it sounds intriguing. Hmm. Okay, well, here's the camera. Uh, a lens in there, a strap, battery, and a manual. Nothing else in the box. I'll put that over there. Okay. Well, let's start with the camera itself first. And here it is. This is the M Mkov brand there. look and feel it's a bit dusty I think the lady who owned this probably didn't use it much it's sat on a shelf which is always ominous in the hand it feels like it's a cheap plastic but it doesn't feel flimsy I have to admit it does feel fairly fairly robust this ring around the lens here is metal, definitely metal. Uh, it's got a metal uh, tripod socket in the bottom, that's good. It's the battery door. That's also where the SD card goes in. That feels, yeah, there's metal on the inside like it's uh, for stiffness. Seems okay, it's got this quite large screen that you can flip up. Oh, that's opened again. <laughs> Good. Maybe I didn't shut it properly. Yeah, maybe not. So there's a screen you can flip up there. And that's a three inch screen, you know, that's quite impressive. It doesn't rotate. It means that you can do selfies by looking at your, your sort of self in the, on the screen there. Oh, it's opened again. Maybe that is a bit of a weakness. Now I couldn't tell you whether that's a manufacturing fault or whether it's because it's second hand. Ah, no, wait a minute. 
it doesn't snap shut. You have to flip that switch. Okay, now it's locked shut. All right, that's good. So you've got a three inch screen, a set of controls here, looks very much like uh, other cameras that I've got. T and W for your zoom, it's digital zoom, there's a menu button, display button, manual, uh, you know, play, timer, delete, flash. Fair enough. Uh, there's a USB socket there. That's, I don't know if you can see it there, it's one of the, uh, the older types of uh, micro USB. Or mini USB, I think it is actually. On the top, there's a, some kind of wheel here. What is that? You know, I think that's decorative. It doesn't do anything. Oh, it does turn. I don't know, I don't want to force it, figure out what that is later. Ah, it's a flash. It's quite nice that it pops up. Because you want the flash as far away from the lens as possible. So it's a nice feature, just takes it a little bit further away, not much, but a little bit. It's a little loose, but... Uh, inside, I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, it's not a, um, a discharge tube. That is a an LED. There's a lot of them are these days. Okay, let's take the lens cap off. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's got a very very small lens. Now, the obvious thing here is that you've got a very big. Um, sort of lens look to it like a normal camera would have but the actual lens itself is very very small and it's inside there so it's got a very small uh, capture element and it says it's it's 2.4 mil it's quite a slow lens if that's true f5.04 uh, it's 52 mil thread yeah, digital zoom lens, so there's no such thing as a digital zoom lens really. It's you know, there is no zoom, it just does it in the in the camera software. Um so it's an extremely small lens and there'll be a very small sensor in there. It's not a, a, a big sensor and a big lens like you would expect, and that's obviously how they've saved some money on this camera. That's not immediately to write the thing off as saying oh it's no good i mean you look at modern day smartphones and how good they are with very miniaturized lenses and sensors you know they can be uh very very capable modern smartphones and i expect this company amcov actually uh, probably bought lenses and sensors from a smartphone company to use on this uh, in bulk so they probably um basically bought these uh bought the lenses and and sensors and put them on their own cameras rather than make their own and you know that's a novel way of doing it it will keep the cost down no doubt if they had to design their own sensor and and their own lenses it would have cost more than than it than it has <clears throat> so we'll have a we'll have a look at that apparently this thing can do video it might say on the box what it can do and uh, it's on the box uh, no. Okay, I'll put this here. And so that's the camera. Let's have a look what's in this little bag here. I think it's a wide angle lens. It said it came with one. Oh, it's two lenses. Oh, that's cool. So this is a macro lens. Yeah, okay. They've obviously bought this in, it's an M52, so you could put that on on the front, presumably, does it? I'll just do it that way. Yeah. It goes on, so that would give you the ability to take macro pictures, very close up pictures. It's nice, it's a generic unbranded 
macro element from some other company in China, I expect. And in here is the wide angle lens, I think. Well, wide angle converter is more accurate. Mm. Let's drop the thing. Yeah, that's like a generic unbranded wide angle converter. It says Japan Optics on it. <laughs> it's probably not made in Japan at all. And that is a female thread. So that wouldn't even go on there. So you'd have to use that with the macro. You have to use both. Okay, so that is the camera with its uh, full lens assembly. Hmm. We're in the hand, you know, it feels like a, it feels all right for the money. Let's power it up and see what it does. I don't know how much charge it's got. Might not have any charging at all, we'll give it a go. Let's see, cable for charging it. And this is obviously the battery. These are probably something they've bought in. It's probably off some other camera model, perhaps. I've still got the remove sticker. I guess it hasn't really seen any use, this camera, maybe. Nice positive action there. Okay, so let's turn it on. Oh, it says welcome. That's always a good sign. Hmm. Still got its manufacturing screen protector on. I'm going to take that off so I can see clearly how good the screen is. It's, you know, it's not too bad actually. I must admit, it's. So it's telling me there's no memory card in it, and that makes sense. Yes, there's no card, so I can't take a picture. And it's not going to be clear on the camera you're watching this on, but actually, that screen looks okay. It's actually not too bad. It's quite usable. Hmm. Okay, well, let me take a picture. There's no, no memory card in it, but maybe it'll give me some idea of what it will do. There's the T and W or the zoom. That clearly works. Tells me the battery is nearly flat. Well, that's fine because I've only just turned it on. Um, Right, resolution. Uh, it's currently on 20 megapixels. Put it on 24, which is 5,600 by 4,200 pixels. Yeah, that's quite high. Uh, what am I doing now? Right, menu. Shooting. Mode set. Beauty face. So I could do with that. Face detect. White balance. Exposure. ISO, quality, sharpness, effect, saturation, anti-shake, metering, imprint, and setup. Okay, let's have a look at the shooting menu. You can have single shot, shot in two seconds, shot in 10 seconds, or continuous. Uh, mode set, let's have a look at that. Auto, sport, night, portrait, landscape, backlight, party, beach, high sensitivity, beauty face. How to do videos then? Hmm. Don't know how you do videos, I'm going to work that out. Okay, I'm going to take this camera outside and just take some pictures with it and 
see what sort of results I get. I've just come out to the woods. Um, the weather's not so bright today. It's probably a good day for testing a camera. And I've got my uh, Amkov camera here. Now it's just in the... Um, uh, I haven't got it in a very high resolution mode. Let me see if I can change that. Difficult one hand. Uh, shooting. Here we are, resolution. Let's go and put it right on the top. 24. Okay. Looks a little bit blue fringy, perhaps. Not very wide latitude. Let's take that picture there. Okay, a bit further. The sky looked a little bit blue fringed, which is characteristic of a cheap camera. Let's uh, do this nice greenery here. Doesn't look very green on the camera. How about this tree? Give it a nice difficult lighting situation. Uh, I'm going to see this gate here. <coughs> yeah, people don't come in here very often. Some uh, nice fox gloves there. It's very pretty. Hmm. A bit blurry. I'll try that one again. Okay, let's go and have a look over here. It's all very thick undergrowth. This time of year, no one's streamed it for a long time. Uh, let's get these ferns, shall we? Okay, let's do a video. I figured out actually, oh, before I go any further, I worked out this was wrong actually. Remember me saying the uh, aperture, well, the widest aperture is f5.4, it's not, sorry. It's 2.4, that's the aperture. Uh, the 5.4 is the focal length. So actually it's a reasonably fast lens. And you can do a video uh, how do we change that? Video size. Okay. 1920 by 1080. Okay, so it's 1080p. I think the frame rate's something a little bit dodgy, like about 15 or something. I'm not quite sure. Let's go for a walk. Oh, look at that pretty flower there. No idea what it is. Let's capture it on this camera. It did come with a macro lens that I've not bought out. That would probably do a better job of the flower. I don't think I've ever filmed a camera filming before. It's slightly bizarre, but you can compare the two in a minute. I want to go back inside. Yeah, video quality on the camera itself doesn't really look that good. But we'll have to see. Okay, I'm going to go back in now and have a quick look at these pictures. Well, I really wanted to like this camera and I really wanted to be quite pleasantly surprised that the, uh, the image quality punched well above its weight for its price, but uh, I don't know about you, but I think it is actually pretty poor quality. Uh, the images are really lacking in detail. There's a lot of fuzz. They're not very good dynamic range. You can see fringing all over the place. The contrast is bad. It's um, really not anywhere near as good as even a, uh, a cheap regular camera these days. It reminds me very much of the cameras of the late 1990s when they just came out and you get these very large, very slow uh, 
were they were they caused to have usually smart media uh, cameras that were just very early on in the in the technology and the images and the videos on them were pretty poor. It reminds me of them really. Uh, I can see there is a market for this kind of camera. I actually think fifty pounds is probably a bit expensive for it, but perhaps things like you know primary schools who want to send all their kids in the class off to do some nature photography around the school gardens, and they need to buy a load of cheap cameras. They're not too precious about. You know, maybe they they could meet that bill quite well. Um, other than that, I mean, I I wouldn't use it on holiday or anything like that. It's not that it's unreliable. Uh, well, I've not tested enough to to really comment on the reliability. It's not that I would feel it'd be unreliable. It's just the image quality is just just a bit rubbish, really. Um, I'd rather come back with uh, better quality pictures than than this can do. Even the video is pretty rough, to be honest. It's you know sometimes when you're looking on YouTube and you see sort of like fail videos and stuff that were clearly taken decades ago and you think oh my goodness what on earth did they film that on that's probably one of these um if i had a budget of 50 pounds and i wanted a good digital camera i don't think i'd buy one of these new you can actually get some really nice cameras um that are really not that old on ebay and amazon second hands for 50 pounds that would be better than this a better brand one it might be five, six years old, but it's it's going to really thrash this in terms of its image quality. And, uh, yeah, so I don't really see them selling an awful lot of these, to be honest with you. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a curiosity, a bit of a niche product, perhaps. You know, it's it's almost a good camera for the money. It's almost good. If it just, if the image quality was just a bit more sort of of its time then these would do well but then of course it would cost more oh well hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and uh, hope to see you again soon don't forget to subscribe uh, to encourage me to make more videos and uh, also leave a like and of course any comments too maybe you've got one of these cameras and you want to express your opinion about it okay all right well uh, take care and uh, catch you all later